Uh, my name is Katie Abbott. I am a mum of three teenage boys. I'm also a composer where I write um, music for contemporary classical settings for people who don't normally go to classical concerts. I am an academic and educator and I created a business called The Artist Mentor where I support established and mid-career artists to have vibrant and long-term sustainable uh, careers that have meaning to them. Uh, I used to ride because it was a good idea to ride, not because I really loved it, just to get me from A to B and it was a bit of a tiring, tiring thing. I'd get home and kind of go, oh, why did I, why did I ride? I should have done something else. I've been really surprised that when I get on my bike in the morning, I, I just burst into a smile and it, I think I just feel like I'm part of the environment where I live rather than sort of separating myself from it. I was at a traffic light the other day and the car next to me, I, I sort of caught their attention or they caught my attention and they were looking at me weirdly and I realised that I was singing at the traffic light and I didn't realise that I was and I felt a bit silly but I thought oh I'm actually composing music while I'm riding to work and I was felt just really happy sitting at the traffic lights on my on my bike. One of the really big projects and projects that I'm really proud of um, as a composer is that I wrote a one hour piece that used the hidden thoughts of women as the text for, uh, for the music. And I interviewed by anonymous survey over 200 women and I asked them, what are your, or do you have hidden thoughts and feelings and would you tell me what they are? I asked them, what have you learned to be brave about and what would you like to be braver about? And the final question was, can you tell me any more about your hidden thoughts and or courage? And this survey was sent out into the world and I received reams worth of material. Of It was just like gold. And so I was able to sift through all of this material, stories of grief and loss, the most hilarious things you've ever heard as well, um, everything that you can imagine, body image, sex, um, friendships, and all I knew about the women is what age bracket they fell into, whether they were 18 to 35 or sort of more middle-aged or, or older. And it was really interesting sifting through and choosing which, which texts, which words would be used in the piece, and I turned it into a one-hour piece that was premiered actually on International Women's Day in 2021 and uh, and has gone on to have a bit of a life which is really really exciting there's just the funniest most poignant uh, responses and it was really what I was hoping for the the impetus for writing the piece was that when I walked down the street I used to always imagine, you know, what's that person thinking? We don't know what, what they've just come from or what they've done and yet we have to kind of put on these hats and facades in our lives. And I thought, what if you actually ask people what they're thinking and what their hidden thoughts were? And people were very, very happy to say and, and many people thanked me for the opportunity to be able to express things that they'd never expressed before and then they're able to hear it back when it's publicly performed. This piece also um, allows the audience when they come into the venue, uh, whether they're male or female or, or um, identify in another way, they are able to write down their hidden thoughts and some of those hidden thoughts are then incorporated into that evening's performance. And I'm very much interested in the power of speaking our hidden thoughts out aloud and, and how that changes things for the people that hear them, but also for the people that speak them. I think what's been a surprise to me about, about riding more regularly and, and, and choosing to ride a bike is that through the act of moving and transitioning from one place to another, I find I solve a lot of my problems, whether they're musical problems or whether they're just other things that I've been mulling over in my mind, I find that sometimes when I'm writing, the answer 
just appears and so that's a really valuable thing which I don't think would happen unless I was uh, physically physically moving. Um, I find just being part of the environment and outside really fun. I like feeling the wind in my hair and the sun on my face and I don't even mind it too much when it when it rains because I'm not riding too far and it's inspiring me to, to think about uh, longer rides than I might do.